Oh my god, is that radical? If I die in Mega Man X6, the video ends. So here we are in Mega Man X6. The actually improvement this game has over X5 is that like, um, you can like, it's optional we want to choose area to talk or not. So like, I just do you know, one single button. So it's not as bad as X5 as it was. Cause, like there's no option to skip it. But in X6, you can just like tap the button to see what it was talking, and that's pretty much it. Which is good, because in X5, it hurt the pace by a lot. But with X6, you know, I used to think this was the worst X game. But the more I think about it, and the more, you know, replayed X7, and the more I thought about X5, I thought, like, this game, personally, is actually, like... Like, you know, it's not a bad game, but it's not a good either. It's tolerable at best. Like, there's some good stuff in this game, and, like, some not very good stuff, like... A lot of other design can be pretty, like, repetitive, too, and annoying. The good thing part is, like, you know, the soundtrack is amazing. Like, the soundtrack is definitely, like, one of the best soundtracks in video game history, let alone Mega Man in general. Personally, like, there's a lot of good tunes in this game. That I have, like, you know, Commander Remark, Penny Maginian, uh... Even, like, the opening stage is really good, too, even though in Lazy Cushion they, uh... Remove, I think they removed like, the freaking guitar. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh man. Yeah, X6 is alright at best, but you gotta admit that like, this game has some effort put into it compared to like X5 or X7. Which, you know, X7 is still the worst X game, period. Okay. We have to go ahead and. Another feature this game has is the uh, C Saber. Which you can use to, uh, it's actually pretty cool actually. So, spoiler alert, in X5-0 died. And in this game, spoiler alert, he comes back to life. Because, uh, the excuse of, like, uh, I hid myself and repaired myself. Which, yeah, this game retcons X5 a lot. Like, with the both good and bad ending. And, yeah, it's so, it's so confusing. Definitely, like, one of the worst X stories, in my opinion. So, we're on to the first stage. It's actually, like... The first in the weakness chain, which is Commander Remark, like they call it. It's a pretty like, like the visuals are really good too. So we're on to the first stage, uh, Commander Remark. Okay, there are two. You have to. Uh, there's a feature. I think X5 started the whole feature, but like you have to save uh, Repoids. And it gets worse. I mean, it's fine in like X6, but like you know, other than the fact they put them in the most stupidest locations yet. But it gets worse in X7 because you need to get like 64 Repoids in order to uh, unlock X. Yeah, you have to unlock the main character of the game. Let that sink in. I got a Falcon Arbor, so it's not really like crazy, crazy. So I think you get the uh, that black armor, like uh, the storm armor. I think it is called. I already know. I have to replay uh, these games again. Okay, Repoid. That's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm saying too. Like, rep they put these in the most uh, 